Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So today we need to finish the contract from Berghaven. There's one more brigand group we have to kill. I guess it's one more. Don't think that uh, there are going to be three waves, but well, who knows? They're offering quite a lot of money, so maybe they, there could be one more fight. Uh, so that's one thing, and then, uh, well, then we'll probably uh, finally start, not exploring, but we'll once again check these islands, and then depends on what we find. Or we could go to Dinkelsmark, check if they have some quests for us there. That means you would go this way, north, then south, explore here. Or another option would be here, then go this way, check this area, and then head back. I definitely want to check this peninsula, because I'm pretty sure there are going to be like two locations there. Okay, but first, we have these brigands to kill. So how do I zoom in without mouse? This is zoom out, this is zoom in. Okay. Um, oh wait, before we fight, we have some level ups. There are two pretty easy ones, level 13, that's one. So I'm gonna take some hit points. I don't think I want to have more resolve, so maybe I'll just do something like this. Just try to um, increase the survivability now. That's one. This should be level 12. One, two, and the last one. What do we take? Um, let's get a, actually, with 98, probably don't need more stamina. Uh, maybe some range defense as well. That's two. Then, Gudrun, level eight. Here, I want to take uh, Clarity for the extra action point. And then, defense, stamina. And with plus four hit points, I think I'm gonna take that. That's a maximum roll. Okay. Uh, next time we take rotation, and then I'm gonna, or then I will have to figure out what uh, we're gonna take as last two perks. I'm not sure about that yet. And uh, Brunhild here. Oh, I actually decided to take um, the favorite enemy Alps, Alps, because um, I don't think that anyone has it yet. It has a legendary contract attached to it, plus Alps is one of the mob types that are not easy to find and have or drop crafting materials that I would really like to get. There are some crafts from the Alps materials that uh, I definitely want to make and check or test. So I'll, I'm taking it a bit earlier than I probably should, but yeah, I want to find this contract. Also, I'm quite curious how dangerous it's gonna be because if, if it's like 50 Alps in one fight, then uh, it's probably not doable for us, uh, at least for now. Let's see, plus three. If enough hit points, stamina. And I guess initiative. Okay, so that's all the level ups. I was thinking about uh, uh, moving some people from the front line, but I don't have decent replacements. So, we'll just have to survive uh, without any changes. And, um, I mean, the front line is not in horrible shape. The worst, I think, might be Arnold, 70%. But they're prioritizing 
uh, Ivan with the, those shots. He's on 75, and it's still, still 252 points. So I think we should be fine. We will take quite a lot of damage, but we should be okay. And are they really attacking us? Well, that's brave. Okay, so what are you looking at? Oh, whoa, how are there three master archers? I thought that there had to be three. Mm, is it really master archer? Yeah, all of them are master archers. That's odd. And veterans. One, two, three. Four, five. That's odd. Oh, wait. I think the last or at the end of the previous episode when I was trying to figure out how many of each type you're going to be facing, I was counting with 16, not 18. That's probably where uh, the difference comes from. Well, this makes it a lot more dangerous. I really thought that we're gonna be facing only uh, four master archers and uh, uh, four veterans. This is the leader. And well, that's it for Ivan. Okay, I don't like this. Don't like this at all. Of course, we missed. Try to clear one side. unique helmet I don't think I want to stay around this guy too long they both actually have tier 1 hammers There's another hammer this guy can do a lot of damage to armor it's a pretty deadly combination If I try to take the high ground, is that a bad idea? One, two... Oh, that master actually can hit here. And well, here on the other side, it should be safe, but it's too far for Arnold. How the hell am I gonna do this? If I move here, then these guys are screwed. I could do something like this. Oh. 
Really? 95? We're gonna need some crowd control around here. I need to move Carl back. That's the best thing I can do. There. Now the line could hold for one more turn. Okay. First we hit the head twice. It's my best shot here. 43, uh, 53. Let's try here. Nope. I'm probably gonna need some help. Should be melee and range defense. So why the hell did I, uh, or why did he manage to hit me twice? How is that possible? Let's try to get a kill. <coughs> Excuse me. Fifty-two, fifty-six, fifty-nine, eighty-five. Let's. Well, Try to kill the butcher. I was hoping that it could affect their morale. 69. Sure. Nice. There's actually a lot of damage considering we hit the body, not the head, and still did a pretty significant damage. 2, 3, 4. It's a marksman. I don't think I can one shot the marksman. You need one more turn to get to those master archers. One, two, three. Oh, I want to go this way. Wait. is gonna hurt it.
It sucks that I can't see the defense now. Because that should be like 70 ish, I think. Probably the best I can do. Wait. Wait. Need to kill this one, ideally. Come on, you can do it. Of course, you can't. some pretty important attacks that this arm was really important mm. it's also quite important how do i do it if i want shaka to jump this way not this way don't think i can i can just pray okay it's good Okay, that was pretty good turn for us. I think I can send Asmodan this way now. Still managed to hit somehow. I need to drag this guy to me. I don't want him to go north. Uh, nope. This is an option. If I finish him off... Well, I didn't finish him off, but it's good enough. Probably should have moved Camilla there, but I uh, can't change that now. Mm, this should put a lot of pressure on them. Well, and this is even better. Okay, great. It's not the best chance to hit, but I'll try anyway. I'm 
Okay, it's another problem solved. Who can still attack? You can shoot, but this should be fine. You can shoot, that should be fine. You guys can't do anything anymore. Nice. Wait. And uh, what do we want to attack now? These two, I think. Yep, that's not what I wanted for once. I guess I should have attacked this one to force uh, Shaka to move on this tile. That was my mistake. Come on. That was a great hit. The chance. Forty four is pretty good. Okay, perfect. Now it's just that uh, warlord. Okay, that was also a great shot. And the question is, what do I want to do with him? Do I want to risk it? I probably could. Let's see what he's gonna do. Jump forward. And he's about to panic. This is probably no, this is <clears throat> excuse me, this is not better. Um, I don't want to send Arnold forward, I think. He took too much damage. Focus, we are close. Oh, great, the warlord panicked. When I stunned, I only have the lead there. Yeah, that guy's gonna run away. Do you have a dagger? You do. So we want to disarm him or at least try it. Uh, 
And if that marksman and uh, master archer run away, I don't care. I'll just try to uh, try to get uh, all the gear from the warlord. If we can do that, I think it was a successful fight. Aspada doesn't have a dagger, so I don't want him to go this way. Um, now it's safe for Arnold. One, two, three, four. Should have activated the uh, adrenaline first. Well, too late for that. Good. What's our chance for the one? That was pretty impressive. Make sure the world can't run anywhere. Finish off this guy. I could probably catch all of them if I really wanted to. I think I'll just let him go. There's really nothing I want from him. And I don't want to risk him having a dagger and killing someone. Now we have to find a city where we can just pay for repairs. Maybe I'll just sail back to Moenburg and repair everything there. I think they even have a temple there so we could pay for healing. Uh, it's over. Okay, any level ups? Nope. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> How much is this worth? It's a lot. What about the helmet? 333 for 17. Don't think this is that great. I mean, it's okay, but I think we have better ones. 26, 15, 14, 44. This one is pretty bad as well. So what do you want to take? This is worth something. 
definitely those hammers. Then we want the flail, I think. We'll take the uniques. And I think we are done. Pretty sure there are some things I want to throw away. Because, well, that cleaver is worth something. I guess that's it. It's not a great result. <clears throat> but no one died with uh, those two crossbows in the second fight. It was a bit more dangerous than I expected. I think we can sell everything here. I'm gonna keep the helmet. I'm gonna keep the heavy armor sets for repairs. Oh, and I forgot the... We had some upgrades from last time. I'm gonna keep this one, the other one we can sell. Then, let's buy the tools and supplies, we're gonna need them. It's also a temple here, so may as well use it. Good. There's one more thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to check the armor with the unique cloak. That's this one. These items, that's what we are interested in. That's what we want to keep, probably, at least some of it. Oh, the cloak is only 4%, so we want to get rid of it. I uh, just want to see if it needs repairs. Nope. And then I want... 84.7, that's pretty good. Wants the heavy armor. Uh, Alfred. Actually, this helmet isn't that bad. It's like 40 extra points for one fatigue and the decreased vision doesn't matter for Alfred. Let's equip it. Now I just need to put together some kind of armor. Now we are at 160 for 16. That's a pretty good ratio. Why not? This might be even better. We have the stamina for the heaviest helmet. Uh, what is it that I need now? I need the 
first layer, so that's this. Now we are at what? 246 for 25. But that's fine for now. I will have to change it. I want Alfred in the end to have much heavier set. But for now, I think it's pretty good. What I need... It sucks that I can't put uh, the armor together in the inventory. This is for sale. I'm not keeping 4% cloak when I can get 15,000 for it. I can actually sell this one here. Um, all of the rest need some repairs. So we'll do that in Moenburg. But this one, how much are you guys offering? 11,000. I think we can get more. And we, I think we can get a lot more actually. This is new. Patrol, no, 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 no. Berghain Krumhorn. Berghain is, no, that's Zandvik. Where the hell is Berghain and Krumhorn? Berghain is here, Krumhorn. Now, I don't want to, to do contracts for these guys. I really have to focus on um, noble house contracts for these guys. Okay, first of all, let's check the price. Only 9,000 or 9,700. Hmm. How much would the repairs cost me? Let's see, I'm gonna pay 354. Let's see if you get more than 460. Yep, so it was worth it. 96, we got like 500 more, so that was worth it. Not sure if this one is worth it. How much do we have to pay? <coughs> Excuse me. Also, we have to remember that they are offering quite um, low prices here, so we should get even more. 120. Seven, uh, it was worth it as well. How much is this? It's a bit more expensive, but I'm gonna do it. And now... This is fine. This is not... This is definitely not. It's gonna be quite expensive. But well, as long as I'm not trying to fix unique helmets this way, it's actually only a few hundred per piece. With helmets, it can easily go over a thousand. This is fine, I think. But honestly, now when we are here, may as well pay 50 gold to fix that as well. Uh, all of this should be fine. 78, sure, why not? Okay, this won't be that expensive. We are at what, 76,000? Do 
2000 to fix all of it. Uh, it would be cheaper repairing it with tools and supplies. Or would it? If we paid 200 for every stack, we would definitely need at least 100. We usually pay, well, we do pay around 200 per stack. So it is. Uh, it is uh, cheaper, about half the price, but it takes, this would probably be like 15 hours. <clears throat> and because money is not an issue, this is definitely better. Okay, where do we go next? We still need to set up a camp for a while. There's some especially weapons that need repairs. Let's go to uh, Secure Ruin Beekeep what? Secure the ruined beekeeper near Groomhorn. What the hell is that? That has to be one of these ruins. Uh, I don't remember this type of contract. Still nine hours, even after I paid for most of the repairs. Damn. I forgot, I also wanted to buy more tools and supplies, oops. Thinking if I want to accept the contract, probably not. Let's go to Dinkos Mark. Okay, I'll pass. Don't think I want to do a fight in the swamp today. What I want is to check contracts. Can we make it? No. You are too late, but we can still check those contracts. I also wanted to check prices and I wanted to check um, if they have tools and supplies. Um, east of Dinkelsmark, Crumbled Farmstead. Is that the one that we already know about? It is. Because last time or when we discovered it, it's been a while, but it was only like four or five brigands in there. And now, when we get that as a contract, not this one, 
They're offering 3 to 600, so that should be a fun fight. Well, a fun fight. At least somewhat challenging. At this point, brigands are quite easy. But we are making a ton of money from them, so... I'm gonna take it. Uh, friend of friend got robbed southwest. This is something we are interested in. South West. A group of outlaws the other day. He claimed the leader doing the most astonishing armor. Um, I think... Oh, wait. We already know where it is. Could be here, could also be further south, but it shouldn't be that difficult to find. Crypt of Jail Fargo in the swamp southwest, or I mean northwest. I don't know who lives there. Northwest. The captain of the guard decided a while ago to join the raider camp hidden in the swamps. Well, there is a confirmation. My uncle, who served under him, uh, claims he raided the armory before leaving and uh, grabbed the real prize. Good. I think I'm gonna check the swamp just in case that's where the the other location is. But I think it's gonna be on the other side of the of the sea. That's too far. Maybe I'll just ignore it. It sounds like um, undead. I don't think I want to fight undead. Uh, so next time we will go here first. Do that contract and then the swamp fight for the armor. From there, we'll head south. Check this. And I think after that, we will just have to go to Zanschnerfest and sell everything. Uh, checking what would be the fastest way, but it doesn't really matter if I go back and sail or if I just go directly to Albeck. Okay, so we have a plan for the next episode. Mm, I think we are done for today. So I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time. And uh, until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.